In this lesson, we're going to download Visual Studio, and we're also going to follow along on the Install Visual Studio 2017 page that the technical documentation team published. And as you can see on screen, we're queued right to Download Visual Studio section. So to start, we'll want to click the following button, and then when we do, we'll click Save and Open Folder. So let's click that button now. Now you'll see it takes you to a Visual Studio Downloads page, and there are several options to choose from. We have different editions of Visual Studio, and let's run through those quickly now. First, we have Visual Studio Community. It has an advantage of being free, but it's a fully featured IDE, and it's meant for students or open source or individual developers. So like if you have a weekend coding project, it would be perfect for that. Visual Studio Professional is a version of Visual Studio that offers additional tools and services, and it's meant for small teams. Visual Studio Enterprise, in comparison, um, is an end-to-end -end development solution, and it meets the scale of what an enterprise would require. Now you'll see this last option on the page called Visual Studio Code. And what that does for you is let's say that you want to have a quick method to code, build, and debug. Well, you can use Visual Studio Code to do that, but if you want a rich, full IDE or integrated development environment, you'll want to choose one of our editions of Visual Studio. And for the purposes of this lesson, we're going to install Visual Studio Community. So let's do that now. We'll click the free download button. And you'll see that on the bottom of the screen, it'll ask you what you want to do with the file that you just downloaded. We're going to click Save, and then we're going to open the folder to view our download. And you can see there it is in our download folder, VS Community, and we have successfully downloaded it. And that concludes this lesson.